Hi everyone, we previously looked at portable solar panels like this. You put them out in the sun, they've got two USB ports built in and they can power your cell phone, they can charge your power bank, any USB device. Um, but generally the very low wattage, for example this one here is only 11 watts. What if I told you that what I have in my hand right here is 100 watts? Yes, this small like briefcase sized item is 100 watts of portable solar power. It's absolutely incredible how they can manage to do this. This thing barely weighs anything. Now, let me open it up and show you it before we go too far. This is from Lensun Solar Energy, and this was sent to me for review. If you want pricing and information about where you can buy it, check the video description down below. But let's talk about this thing. Now, let me warn you, today is not a particularly sunny day. So we will do a little bit of testing, but we're not gonna test the maximum output to see if this can really output 100 watts. We'll have to do that in a future video when the sun is out. Let's open this thing up. Look at that three huge monocrystalline panels and that generates up to 100 watts how incredible is that and this thing barely weighs anything now this is not designed for your average like going to the beach or something like that like these little solar panels or the portable ones this is more for camper vans recreational vehicles caravans and things like that now this could also be perfect for emergency uses for example charities or government organizations that go around when there's been a typhoon and things like that because this is so portable you could potentially take this on an airplane as hand luggage and then you could go anywhere and you could set this thing up so very very impressive now you can see right now i'm holding it but it actually comes with a little bag which holds the legs let me show you them now i know the camera isn't that close but there's not that much to see and i will bring the camera closer so you can have a better to look at this in a little while it's basically just these aluminium pegs and they slot into pockets in the side and they make adjustable legs so let me put one in so i can show you how it works we just put the crossbar in take one of the legs screw that into place now like i said this actually comes with a separate bag or a separate pouch and that fits into this zip here so everything is contained in one unit so you can see now that's screwed in that's one leg and I'll just put it sideways so you can see. The idea is it will lean back like that and you can put it at any angle you want. Very impressive. So let me put the rest of the legs in. Now you might be thinking, well, actually that's not that impressive. That's so simple. Well, you'd be surprised. Sometimes the simplest things in life are actually the best things. Um, I like the fact that it's so simple. There's nothing to go wrong and they're very adjustable. By the way, although it's not super sunny today, it is still very, very hot. So I apologize if I sweat. It's very difficult shooting solar videos because the heat is just immense inside the Philippines. So I've got all of the legs attached now, and that means we can just lean it back and get it to a good angle for the sun. Now you can probably see on camera that this is mostly shaded because like I said, it's not a super sunny day today. So let's imagine you've just put this out in the sun. You've got your camper van over there. What do you do next? Well, it comes with these standard MC4 connectors built in. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And then all you have to do is connect it to a charge controller like this, which then goes to your batteries. Because most recreational vehicles already have a number of deep cycle batteries, and that's what you use to run your refrigerator, your lighting, and everything like that. So this is ready to plug into your existing electrical system. All you have to do is add a charge controller if you don't already have one. Now this is ideal because you don't have to modify your vehicle. You don't have to mount them permanently on the roof. The other thing is that because the legs are adjustable, you can adjust it towards the sun during the day. So if you know about a solar panel, you'll know that if you just lay them flat, you're only gonna get a certain percentage of power. If you actually angle it perfectly towards the sun, you'll get a lot more energy. So for those who are driving around, camping at different places and doing things where they really need a lot of power, it's ideal that you can have a system like this because you can fold it up, put it inside when you're traveling around, keep it safe. And then when you park up somewhere, you can put this out, angle it towards the sun to get the most power during the day. But there is another option. Let's say you don't want the hassle of batteries, lead acid batteries and everything like that. I've shown in the past that these kind of solar panels typically have an open circuit voltage of somewhere between 18 volts and 22, 23 volts. What that means is that a lot of the stuff designed to be used inside vehicles, 12 volt and 24 volt systems, can actually be used directly with this solar panel without having any batteries. For instance, you can buy these little adapters here. Again, I'm gonna show you a close up of this. You can buy these little cigarette lighter socket adapters. You plug it in and it gives you four USB ports. And you can buy different ones designed for 12 volts or 24 volts, although generally they're quite forgiving of higher voltage. And then you can actually use the power directly, so no need for any batteries. I demonstrated this in a previous video and I'll also demonstrate it in this video. So let's say you're going hiking and of course you can't carry like huge lead acid batteries with you hiking, it would just be too heavy. 
you can still use something like this and you could carry a number of these little USB car adapters and then everyone in your group would be able to charge their cell phone, charge their power banks and things like that. And by charging power banks, you're actually storing the power for usage later. So you can use this as a fully portable system if you want. And if I was to use this for an emergency purposes, for instance, helping typhoon victims and other natural disasters, that's how I would use it. I wouldn't want to carry, you know, lead acid batteries around. It'd be too impractical. I would buy a bunch of these little USB car adapters, ideally 24 volt versions. And I would just use those and let everyone charge their cell phones and everything like that. So let me bring the camera closer and then show you this panel close up and show you how you can do something like this without having to use a charge controller and battery. So I'm going to go hands free for a minute so you can get a better look at this. I have put it out in the sun now. You can see it's extremely thin. Let me look around the back here. So here you go, you can see it's very, very thin. You got the legs at the back, easily adjustable. Yes, it's super basic, but basic is good because it works. So hopefully you can see okay on camera. Uh, open circuit voltage right now is just over 19 volts. So again, I've gone handheld for a minute just to show you what I've done here. I've connected some wires to the wires coming off the portable solar panel. I've literally just pushed them in there because I don't have proper connectors to hand. I've connected this little lighter socket adapter. This just splits it into three. I cut off the end so it's easy to attach. Then I've got this little in-car USB charger. This is what I was talking about earlier. You can get these in 12 volt variants or 24 volts. Although even the 12 volt variants can handle a higher voltage. So let's plug this in. Now this is a little USB powered fan. So you can see I've got it plugged into one of the USB ports here. There's no battery in the back, but of course if we turn this on, it comes on without any issue. I'm not sure how well you can hear that. Let me bring it closer to my microphone. Now, of course, this is only one item. It doesn't have to be a fan. We could plug in a cell phone, for example. If I plug my cell phone in, you can see the screen turns on and I don't know how well you see on camera but it is charging it's already nearly fully charged so it's not the best demonstration but I just want to show you that even without a battery without a charge controller you can actually use it with something like this these little USB adapters so for anyone who really wants a super oh look Mr. Black's here <laughs> he's checking out the solar panel for anyone who wants a super portable 100 watt solar panel without having any batteries it is still possible now I'm sure some of you are going to be thinking, well, you powered a 5 watt USB fan, a 5 or 10 watt cell phone, that's meant to be 100 watts, this isn't a very good demonstration. Well, like I said, it's not a perfectly sunny day, and I'm going to make a separate video about like the maximum power that you can draw out of this thing. Now, personally, looking at the panels, comparing it to my other panels, the size, the reputation of the company, etc., I have very little doubt that this is going to get close to 100 watts. Maybe it won't hit exactly 100 watts, but we'll see in a future video. For today, I just wanted to tell you about the product and give you a basic idea of how it works, because I know a lot of people have recreational vehicles, camper vans, and things like that and many of them don't want to mount traditional solar panels on top. This is not a budget product, this is a premium product. You pay a premium for high quality solar cells for the fact that it's portable. So yes, it is a little bit more expensive, but it's also super convenient, especially for those who just want something they can put inside, then bring out each time they need it. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.